Welcome back to All Things ETH. My name is Aaron and on this channel we talk about all things Ethereum. We talk about projects, NFTs, play to earn, DeFi and price. And today guys, I want to talk about uh, voting in Solidly Fork. So we have a couple of them that are on Arbitrum. One of them just launched, it's Chronosfy. And I'm going to specifically talk about that one today because I've gotten a huge amount of airdrops. I've gotten four different NFTs that I'm going to be voting with, and I want to show you how to uh, merge those NFTs and then how to vote in Solidly Forks. So let's get on into it. Here is Kronos Phi. Uh, like I said, um, I'm just going to go to the homepage real quick and just show you what's up. There's a swap here. Um, that's uh, going to be a great uh, option for swapping, particularly Arbitrum based uh, tokens that's going to be your, your best use case here now personally I like to use the swap ag aggregator in DeFi Llama but if you're looking for some specific coins you'll want to look in on, on Arbitrum in particular go to Kronos uh, the app.chronos.exchange to find this specifically. Now you can go into liquidity and add liquidity. Just a quick overview of what's going on in Chronos. You can uh, buy the uh, the um, the Chronos uh, tokens and then you can lock them to have some voting power. Now you do have to lock them for uh, up to two years in order to get full locking value. Uh, these are my locks that I've got. Um, I got airdropped all of these uh, differently for um, for different reasons. I have some of the uh, Kronos NFTs, the, uh, the, the keys to Kronos. So I got some of those airdropped um, because of that. I've been in different protocols and won some of the, um, or qualified for some of the airdrops based on some partnerships that they did. And so I've gotten quite a few uh, airdrops from that. But I'm going to be using all these NFTs to vote. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So in the rewards tab, you're not going to see anything yet because we have not uh, gotten to the first, the end of the first epoch. We are in epoch zero, essentially. And uh, uh, zero UST is when, um, or 7 p.m. Central Standard Time where I'm at, is when the uh, epoch will switch over and you will get the rewards from your votes. Now the bribe section is where protocols go to actually in, in, enter their bribes for the protocol. So uh, so if you want to set up, if you're a protocol yourself and want to set up these bribes, or if you want to bribe for, for some reason yourself, if you want to set up your own uh, liquidity inside of this and then bribe it yourself, you can do that. And then here's the uh, CHR NFTs where um, if you do own some of these, that's where you'll collect your ETH rewards here. So when you go into the voting tab, you can see all of the gauges here that you can vote for. Now the things to look out for, there's uh, the bribes are over here and uh, $10,000 for USD plus uh, and DAI plus, which is pretty awesome. These, these rewards are inc insane. And this is pretty typical of early epoch bribing guys so to kick off liquidity and to get bribing and uh and, and voting going uh these these protocols are raising a ton of money so what you can do if you click on this here you actually can cycle through and make sure that you're seeing how much is the biggest bribe now that's one way to look at this and how how to vote is uh is to see what the biggest bribe is but what i actually like to do is go over to the apr section because um Total uh, bribes is a big factor. So there's 6% of the total uh, total votes is being uh, voted for on this specific pool here the, or this gauge here. So uh, just because there's $14,000 bri being bribed in this pool, it uh, doesn't mean that you're going to make a, a big portion of that unless you check on the APR. So I'm going to cycle the APRs and see which one is the largest here. And it looks like the GND GMUSD pool is the largest currently. Now this could get filled up with, with votes. Um, you want to be uh, uh, voting uh, as, as late as possible in order to get the correct APR. So uh, one thing you'll want to do is uh, vote as close to that U zero UST in order to get the, uh, the best value for your votes. So I will be voting for these uh, when it is time to vote and I'll show you how to do that. So uh, select your CHR NFT. I'm going to go ahead and put my largest one into this because I do, uh, I, I participate in GND and I have GND and uh, in fact that just launched uh, just over a week ago and I've been modding that channel in their Discord and it's been 
fantastic. Go ahead and check out uh, more content. I'll be making more content about GND soon. I've made one video so far, but uh, let's. I'll be making more. But I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, go all the way up to 100%, and I want to cast this vote on this specific pool. So I'm going to. Um, Now I'm going to hit cast vote down here and then it'll open up my uh, Rabi wallet. I'm using Rabi right now with a Trezor connected as you can see. And then I'm going to hit uh, <clears throat> confirm here. All right, and I've successfully cast votes for that specific uh, VECHR NFT and close that. Now, let me show you how you actually merge these. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and hit manage. And I'm gonna merge. So what I'd like to do is manage uh, the one that I clicked on and then I'm gonna add to it uh, one of the other ones here. And then I'm going to hit the merge button. I wonder if I can actually merge a third one as well. I don't think I can. So only two at a time can you merge. But I did get airdropped quite a few and at different times, so I'm going to be merging three out of the four. And uh, so I'll have two quite large uh, NFTs here. And having two is kind of nice. Um, sometimes, you know, you can vote uh, like 50% on, on one thing and 50% uh, on another based on your, your one NFT, which is kind of nice. In other protocols, you can't do that. But uh, in um, Kronos, you can. In uh, in Ramses you can, but uh, occasionally um, it's nice to have a, you know, you, maybe you, you, you know, perma vote with one NFT and then you use an, one of your other NFTs to do a, uh, a last minute vote. So, all right, so I've confirmed that in my wallet and it should merge now. All right, so if I go to my lock page again, back to lock list, all right, now we've got uh, one less NFT, and this one has gotten much larger now. So uh, let's merge these last two together. So I'm going to hit merge again, or manage, and then merge, and then I'm going to add in my last NFT here, and I'm going to merge those two together. Confirm that in my wallet. All right, and now I should have two uh, nice large lock value NFTs, some VECHR NFTs, and I'm gonna go vote with this other one a little bit later, uh, just before, probably within the hour before um, the end of the epoch, again at zero UST or 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So. Uh, you, your rewards again should pop up soon after within an hour or two if at the latest after the uh, the end of the epoch so that you can claim your uh, your voting rewards you should also get some uh, some uh, CHR tokens in uh, rewarded as well I'm not sure if they're going to be VECHR or just CHR tokens uh, dropped to you um, but uh, yeah with end of the epoch you should get some rebase just review, I want to go to the uh, vote tab, I want to go to the APR section, and I want to uh, cycle the highest APR possible at the time. Now you will get paid in the tokens that they uh, they, they have here. So uh, this is 40 GND for that $10,000 uh, reward, guys. And then uh, down here, let's see, uh, 0.27 uh, wrapped ETH, and then three uh, LCHR, whatever that is. That's an interesting one. That's not very much as far as rewards go. And that's something to look out for too. Um, just because it's a it's a, a high APR, guys, doesn't mean it's it's gonna pay out well. Um, because this, uh, the, the, if there's a lack of votes, your uh, your 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 return on investment could be lower than your total value of the uh, the NFTs that you have. So be sure to check on the uh, the the rewards over here as well. So pick something that's got high APR and high high rewards to make sure. And if you need to calculate it, um, I can show you how to do that really quickly here. All right, so I'm going to take ten thousand dollars. And then I'm going to divide that by the number of votes, uh, 1, or 139,872. 
and that will give me a 0 0.07 and then I'm going to times that by the amount of votes that I put in so 2400 that should get me about $171 based on that specific end of NFT and I've still got more to vote with so I've got a, the potential to make over $300 in this specific uh, uh, rewards if I was going to play, put all of them into this uh, this gauge here so um, I'm going to check within uh, you know the next hour or so to check back to make sure I'm uh, still good to, on that specific vault um, if there's something higher or if somebody uh, puts in their bribe super late I may want to jump in and that's why it's best to wait until the last hour if you can to get into these votes guys so with that thank you so much for watching and God bless